हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट बोमल्स थियोरी ऑफ सेल्स रिवेन्यू मैक्सिमाइजेशन दिस थियोरी इज गिवन बाय अमेरिकन इकोनमिस्ट डब्ल्यू जे बोमल इन हिज बुक नेम्ड बिजनेस बिहेवियर वैल्यू एंड ग्रोथ दिस मॉडल इज ऑल्टरनेटिव ऑफ प्रॉफिट मैक्सिमाइजेशन मॉडल According to this model, goal of firm is maximize their sales revenue while getting minimum amount of profit. According to this model, goal of firm is maximize their sales revenue while getting minimum amount of profit. Means, according to this model, firm want to increase their sale. Plus, it also want to increase their revenue through their sale without doing any compromise with minimum profit. Now we'll see assumptions of this model. Goal of firm is maximize sales revenue while getting minimum amount of profit. And minimum amount of profit depend on value of shares and competition. And here form of market is oligopoly. And cost curve of oligopoly are U shaped and demand curve of oligopoly are downward sloping. And this model is based on single time period. Now we understand this model with the help of this diagram. In this diagram on x axis we have output and y axis we have revenue cost and profit this tr curve represent total revenue this tc curve represent total cost this tp curve represent total profit at b point our profit are maximum and profit maximization output is oq but here our objective is not profit maximization here our objective is sales revenue maximization that's why we will not do oq amount of output we will do more than oq amount of output so according to this model firm want to increase their sales volume and through their sales volume firm want to maximize their revenue without doing any compromise with minimum amount of profit and here we assume our minimum amount of profit is om and revenue maximization output is oq at oq output you can see at this r point our revenue are maximum after r point our revenue start uh, declining so we can say that oq amount of output is revenue maximization output because at this amount of output you can see at this r point our revenue are maximum but we cannot do ok amount of output so we cannot do ok amount of output but why we cannot do ok amount of output even we are getting maximum revenue here according to this model we want to get maximum revenue na at ok amount of output our revenue are maximum then why we are not doing ok amount of output according to this model we want to maximize our revenue but without doing any compromise with minimum profit our minimum amount of profit is om but at ok amount of output we are receiving sk amount of profit and sk amount of profit is less than the om amount of profit that's why we cannot do ok amount of output because here we are receiving less profit as compared to minimum amount of profit so according to this model we will do od amount of od amount of output because at od amount of output we are receiving cd profit and cd profit are exactly equal to our minimum profit om so according to this model our optimum amount of output will od so according to this model we want to maximize our sales revenue without doing any compromise with minimum amount of profit so od amount of output is equally with amount of output here you can see our sales revenue is high as compared to profit maximization output at profit maximization output our sales revenue is lq but at od amount of output our sales revenue is ed which is higher as compared to profit maximization output plus we are not doing any kind of compromise with mini minimum profit we are receiving minimum profit also so od amount of output is our equally with amount output according to this model now we we'll see criticism of this model it is very difficult to set a minimum amount of profit according to this model we should get minimum profit but shareholders or we can say owner they want maximum profit not minimum profit and this model do not consider any kind of competition 
This model is based on oligopoly and oligopoly market have interdependence among firm, they have price war, but this model completely ignore this. And this model also avoid in a relation between firms and industry. So this is all about Bommel theory of sales revenue maximization. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye, take care.